everyone and welcome back to Let's Play the Nightmare Before Christmas, Oogie's Revenge. In the last episode, we took on Beryl's Maze and finished it pretty quickly. We also managed to take out two hidden areas. And I went back and S-ranked it and unlocked the Oogie figure. And yeah, it was so short, I beat the level in four minutes. Anyway, let's continue on to the next chapter. Chapter 11, Peril and the Pumpkin Head. Again, that is a really, really cool pumpkin head. Now, I have a question I want to ask you guys. Whenever I'm in editing for these episodes, I put it in 16 by 9. But what I notice is that it looks better in 4 by 3. It doesn't look as stretched out. Wait, ghosts are eating the pumpkin? That makes They're no sense. They're attacking from within. I'd better climb up and have a look. Back on to what I was saying. Um, in editing, 4x3, it doesn't look as stretched out. And doesn't look as pixely when it's in its MPEG-4 format. Now, I know that 16x9 is a nice thing to do. But really looking at a dazzle through a full screen does not look the best. So I don't recommend looking at it like the full screen for that. So I want to ask you guys, do you mind if I put it in three, four by three? Because it just looks better in my opinion. It's, I don't know, it's just something I want to ask you guys. Anyway, as you can see, the skeletons are eating the pumpkin. Now, I'm going to try and lure these pumpkins over here. Not pumpkins, these skeletons. Now, the interesting part about the skeletons is they they will run towards the presence. I need this one to get over here. Come on, buddy. I need you. Okay, so far we got three. If I can get all four of them in this area, that'd be great. Because then, um... Then I'd be able to get a good combo going. I might just have to do this guy. Okay. There we go. Okay. Looks like we've got a good combo going. Yeah, this is definitely good enough for a combo for us for this chapter. Okay. There we go. When you beat all the enemies, you might notice this pumpkin right here. It will explode, and we can head on down. Okay, now comes the fun part, I believe ghosts. Not just any ghosts, king ghosts. You all know how much I love ghosts in general, guys. I think ghosts have become my more hated enemy than the guys with the clubs, but that could change in this chapter, and there is a reason why. And out of all of the um, chapters, for some reason, I always had a hard time with this one because of what happened at the end. pretty much at the end. Of it. Now, something that's really good against these ghosts is the upgraded reach that the soul robber has when you get the level three. As you guys can tell, it, we have a pretty far reach with this thing, and it is amazing. Okay. And the next pumpkin is open. Let's head on down. Now, it's gonna get, it's getting to the point where I'm gonna need to start practicing because before I had only gotten to chapter 12. And we're Merry coming up to chapter 12 pretty soon, so I'm, I have a practice file, so don't worry. Because I want this to go well. Okay. There we go. Get this king ghost out here. Let's get scared stiff. Okay. Grab you and slam you against the ground. There we go. And all that's left is this king ghost right here. Beat you up. Beating up ghosts. Remember when before I said I needed a proton pack or the Poltergeist 3000? Forget that. I've got the soul robber. Okay. Let's head on down this way. Treated to a cutscene. Mind sharing. Now sharing is caring. What? 
You made it through my maze? It was fairly now, easy. Bro, it's time I taught you a lesson. I gotta agree with Meryl. I'd be kind of scared of a guy who was extremely tall was right in front of me. And all of a sudden, you know, just like, came up. I need to throw the enemies at Meryl. It makes it easier when you throw enemies at him. See, the annoying part about Meryl is that he jumps a lot. And he summons enemies that I don't like. Ah. Okay. Throw this up. Okay. As you can see, again, the throw robber really helps out with this. Up. Throw this guy at you. Throw him at you again. Barrel's going down pretty fast. Ah, uh, he dodged that. I'm kind of impressed about that barrel. But he didn't dodge that time. And barrel is down. Fairly easy, mind you. Especially with the level 3 soul robber. Thanksgiving! Where's my turkey? Look at the stars. Barrel. Pranks shiny are one on thing, the ground. But Pick up real the shiny. danger is not a good idea. I'm sorry, Jack. Now, no more serving Oogie. Okay, Jack. I think Jack's too nice to these kids, <laughs> given that they lie to his face. And yes, this is a very short chapter. A holiday door that has to be returned to its holiday tree. For the north gate to of the plaza, it unlocks the residential area. Okay. And that actually ends the chapter. I know, this is so short, guys. And I'm not doing more than one chapter in a video. You know I don't like to. Clear time! Come I think this is going to be the first one I actually get an S. I only got hit one time. That is... No! Oh, I was about to say, this is going to be the first chapter I get an S on. Oh, well. An A is good. And I'll just go back and S rank it. And we still unlock the trophy, so that's good too. Soul bonus. And we unlocked the trophy for barrel. Anyway guys, gonna end it off right here. Next time on Let's Play the Nightmare Before Christmas, Boogie's Revenge, we're gonna head back to Halloween Town and open up the residential area. It's been Roxas 1359, and this is a very short chapter. See you guys next time.